Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is my dear friend Sandra and today is Friday and we are making cocktails as usual. So um, you're going to make for us kind of an old fashioned or a, a, a historic cocktail again. Um, and this one is similar to another one that we've made and um, yeah, tell me all about this sidecar. Okay, yes. so it's called sidecar. Yeah. Um, if you could check out the video that we did on the Brandy Crusta. This yes. is very um, closely related to it. It's actually sort of an evolution from the Crusta. We kind was, of described it as the granddaughter the of the Crusta. The granddaughter of the Crusta, yes. if you will. So um, the Crusta was developed in New Orleans. Generally has brandy in it. This time we're going to be using some cognac instead. And, it, and the Crusta has a few more ingredients. It has bitters. It's a little more complicated than the sidecar, isn't it? Yeah, and it has more, um, it has simple syrup, which we're right. not going to be putting. So, well, I can okay. just show what we're going to do. We're okay. just going to, this is a simple syrup in this saucer. Right. So just take the edge, roll it, go all the way around, and then you take plain old table sugar. <clears throat> and if you have a bigger plate, that actually works better. Yeah, you can <laughs> I just this. have, yeah, I just happen to have a tiny little if you have a salad plate, you can just that's probably better. Yeah, just, but that's okay. We're gonna and make this work because we are resourceful. And if you're really into making cocktails, they have these great things that we use in a bar, and they're um, three different parts, and they're just circular things. They look like donuts. The top one will have like a sponge in it, and in that you put either um, simple syrup or maybe sweet and sour, some kind of sticky mix, and then you will fan that out, and you the next one will have salt. Um, you put salt in that and then you dip in that and then there'll be a third one you pull out and so you can rim in sugar. So this is our, th well this is my home <laughs> and at home, I, you don't have one. You don't have a rimming set, do you? No, I no. use a plate. Yeah, so do I. So um, it's it's easier. I don't need more stuff in my house, I promise. Right, right, right. So this is, it's a perfectly good method. Um, yeah. So we're going to start out with our cognac. And we're going to put one and a half ounces. Cognac something that I don't just drink a lot of. I should probably get to know it a little bit better. You should. You should. should. Yeah. And a lot of people don't drink it on its own these days, but um, it sure does make some beautiful cocktails. I'm putting a third, uh, rather three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau. So That's we've got cognac and orange, orange. Mm -hmm. and lemon juice. Fresh squeezed lemon, another three quarters. And the Contro is somewhat sweet. Okay. And then this is going to balance it out so it's equal parts, another three quarters. Of lemon. lemon and the orange. Next. And we shake. little bits. I love shaking. I always, when she's shaking, I'm always making faces because it's funny, but I love shaking things because I love the patterns and stuff that the ice makes. It's just beautiful to me. It is nice. And we can just give that a little twist. We don't want to break it, but we've got this lovely twist and can release some of that <laughs> orange oil into okay. the drink, which is nice. And then I'm just going to pop that in. You can lean it on the edge if you like. And I get to taste. And see what you think. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that's potent. It's good, but it's potent. Right, it's so dainty looking, but it, don't let it fool that's you. That's kind of, yeah, I was kind of thinking I was, I don't know, getting this like easy sip and drink, but if there's a <laughs> kick in there, um, you might want to be careful with these. But um, if you decide to make this this weekend, you might just want to limit yourself to one because Sandra's not going to limit herself to one. <laughs> I could limit myself. Of course you could. Um, anyway, so here we are again at the end. And um, hopefully we will see you next Friday for another cocktail. And um, until then, Cheers. see you later.